Hi friends, welcome to Java Express channel. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, microservices introduction. So if you are watching for the first time, please go ahead and watch in our channel. Uh, recently we uploaded one video, uh, what is a monolithic architecture? What are the advantages of monolithic architecture? So just to type here Java Express, click on this uh, channel link, click on the videos. Here you are able to see inside the playlist, we have a microservices videos. We upload as a one video and we have a couple of recording videos around 33 videos. We have about Spring Boot videos. If you are the, watching the microservices, just before that watch this video. Why? Because it will give some insights on this uh, before learning microservices. Why? Because uh, to avoid the problems of uh, monolithic architecture, we are going to start microservices. Okay, so today we'll discuss in detail why we need microservices, or uh, how the architecture will look like. Uh, we'll discuss. If you have any questions, please leave you in the video section. Whenever I free, I will reply back for you. Okay, yeah. What is a microservice? When I hear so many people saying that a microservice is a, a technology, or like microservice is an API, microservice is a framework. But when you ask me, basically it is not a technology, not a framework and not a API, then what it is? Then some people say like Spring Boot is a, a framework is developed based on the Spring Core. But what about the microservice? Microspace service is not related to any code base. This is one of the architectural design pattern we have our design patterns, right? Like we have a singleton design pattern, factory design pattern, okay? Based on the pattern, you will divide your code base. In the same way, our project, we have a monolithic architecture, right? The monolithic architecture will be divided into multiple modules. You can say multiple components. So the components, how they're dividing, I can say this is a one of the architectural design pattern. Okay, this is a architectural design pattern. Why basically, why microservices introduced is someone asked, you can say that to avoid the problems, what are the problems we are facing in the monolithic architecture already we covered in the previous video, please go ahead and watch. Okay, to avoid the problems of monolithic architecture, they introduced the microservices. Hope you got, you have some idea what is a microservice. Okay, now previously we saw like one example, e-commerce based application, right? That is all modules in single, single war file, right? That single war file, what will do the whole service will divide into, uh, will be the main name will be divide and conquer. Each module will be component will be separated. That means independent with each other. If they want to communicate, they can communicate with each other, but all the modules will be divided. Okay, that is the main theme of the microservices. Hope you have an idea what is a microservice. You can say microservice is a architectural design pattern. Okay, next. If you see here, what is the difference? Then what's the difference between the monolithic versus microservices? When talk about the monolithic, we have already here, if you see uh, UI layer and a business logic and data access layer, there's a three layers is it combined into a single war file. If you want to do a small change, you need to redeploy on the server itself. How many servers you are running, you need to redeploy entire the application, application will be go down. For this whole war file, I can communicate with a single database. You can say this is a database only a database. I cannot develop with multiple technologies in case of monolithic architecture. Okay, hope already what is monolithic now you have an idea. In case of the microservices, the same here, what we can do, we can develop one multiple projects. If you say what is a microservice, it's like a, a project. I can say it's a REST API, product catalog service, okay, payment service, order service. Each service is a REST API, 
okay so uh, if you see this will be communicate with each other this is one service this is one one two three four around we have six microservices all microservices we have a common ui you can say this ui is nothing but amazon.com or flipkart.com when you hit the url this ui will take care which service i need to communicate to serve the data okay these microservices as a okay uh, in the it industry people when i say my pure microservices architecture okay each microservice has a own database okay for this microservice communicate with this database and this microservice communicate with this database there is no relation with these two databases at all only individual database maybe you can use here oracle here you can use mysql here you can use some mongodb whichever database you need you can use hope you got you have an idea if you see maybe you can develop this microservice by using php and this microservice you can uh, develop by using dotnet and this microservice you can develop by using java okay you can use the multiple technologies okay uh, like in the monolithic you need to use only one technology only that technology you need to use if you want to migrate to different it's very difficult in case of monolithic whereas in the microservices it is very easy to learn and to work each component okay now you have exactly why we are using monolithic versus microservices okay next when in it industry assume that you are developing microservices project suppose capgemini suppose some hcl some philips everyone they are developing their own projects okay every project there is architecture will be a not a same maybe maybe in your uh, uh, dev lead uh, they can define one architecture if you ask me i can define one architecture if another guy can define the different architecture for single project also that's why microservices has no fixed architecture available for microservices okay each one has own different different types of uh, architectures that's why i can say no fixed architecture okay hope you guys are clear what is a microservice next if you see same example what i taken is uh, e commerce application in the case of microservices previously if you see catalog catalog has a one database okay card service has one database order has one database payment has one database these all services as a common point is a ui the ui will be communicate with these services the request will from from different types of browsers say online shopping service and mobile service when you say each service that indirectly i can say each micro service is one rest api rest api is nothing but you can develop all cloud operations one rest endpoint will be created maybe you can have a multiple endpoints i can say this is one rest api project this is one project then i can create four projects for single micro or uh, single project okay amazon.com is one project under this project we have a multiple modules nothing but multiple components each component is a rest api okay now you have a better idea monolithic versus uh, uh, microservices same diagram in the monolithic also in the previous video i explained for you okay if you are watching for the first time please go ahead and watch next what are the advantage of microservices okay uh, we have a disadvantages of monolithic to overcome those problems it should have some advantages right okay mm, what is the advantage first for easy maintenance what does it mean basically uh, in our it industry while developing a project we have a different types of developers will be there i mean to say if, if you take the java developer four to five members will be there okay our the project maybe i can work with the uh, order service another developer can work with the payment service in this way they will divide our project into multiple services it is very easy to develop and easy to maintain okay there is an issue in the payment you no need to touch the order service and uh, card service just you need to touch the payment service that way the maintenance will be very easy okay and faster releases 
okay you are not deploying the whole war file okay you are developing as a small thing assume that you are opening amazon.com you have a search service suppose if you type the mobile uh, some oneplus mobile you got the list of mobiles okay when you click the cart service some issue is there you are not able to see the uh, carts whatever you are uh, adding to the cart those it is not displaying in that case i no need to stop throughout the application the cart service has a problem i can fix only the cart related such service there is no problem that way we can release the faster releases without application down okay very quickly we can develop the development even for the testing team it won't take much time why because it is a small module we can release our micro services hope you have a clear idea okay what is the advantage of the micro service and parallel development multiple teams can work on multiple services and development parallelly you no need to, hey i'm working on the payment you also need to work on the payment no not required you can work for the other service but one disadvantage is if all people are working in different modules the visibility is very less basically that means uh, maybe i am not aware about the order service he is not aware about the payment service that is one disadvantage in the micro service the visibility is very less basically but in case of the agile methodology the micro service is the best concept to develop the projects okay and adapting to new technology i already told you can develop the micro services uh, with different types of technologies okay you no need to define the same programming language based on the requirement you can develop now easily you can do some poc proof of concept maybe you want to introduce something in micro services yeah you can develop on poc you can show the output to the, your manager if is okay now you can ready to take the technology also we can use our different technologies to develop our micro services okay hope you have a, an idea what is a micro service what are the advantages why we are going to use the micro services without micro services what will happen with micro services what will happen what is the advantage so nowadays all projects are using the micro services based architecture only it's very very important as part of interview questions also okay and easy scaling nowadays dockerization now all micro services their containerized applications in kubernetes they are deploying we can scale our micro services very easily just you need to give a count hey i want to run my service as a uh, 10 services now you can give the count as 10 it will create uh, 10 pods it will be create 10 instances of your application we can scale our micro services based on projects very easily Uh, do you think any time like how flipkart data is handling that many number of users in big billion day maybe uh, if you search our flipkart.com maybe users will be maybe 1000 uh, uh, users in the big billion year 10000 users then how servers are handling uh, at the based on the users the servers will be create everything is in dynamic nowadays how the dynamic means that is some we have an orchestration engine as kubernetes and docker swarm based on that we can achieve uh, the scaling concept in micro services okay i hope you have a better idea on uh, advantages of the micro services if you like this video please subscribe our channel if you have any doubts leave your comments in the video section and just go to in this website we have a subscribe button just go and type the java express here just you click the subscribe and will get some bell icon if you click you will get the new notifications thank you guys we'll see you in the next tutorial